amazing this evening, truly. Um, I mean, this is our third one and it's really always a, an honour and a privilege to be here and meet the supporters and volunteers, but to hear their stories, it's just so inspirational and it just, it just makes it worthwhile what we're here doing. I thought there's no way I'm gonna win and it, to be honest it's not about the winning it's just about being here and about being with a charity and hearing about everyone else's stories and about how they're raising awareness so it felt amazing um, but I'm just so glad to be part of tonight it's just been absolutely fantastic <laughs> about making a difference, just like Nick did. But receiving this award is a privilege, and it certainly will inspire us to keep going. So on behalf of Sue, Chris and myself, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Denise, again, thank you. I can say on a daily basis what difference the foundation makes to the patient's lives, which is, you know, amazing. Well, listening to everybody else's story, uh, my story and my journey with Roy Castle lung cancer is nothing compared with them. They are very, very special people, and I'm just someone that wants to fundraise. Without this person, none of us would be sitting in this room today. The charity he founded has been instrumental in helping to beat the biggest cancer killer. I felt a bit emotional that, to be recognised in that way, but I was very desperate that it wasn't, that it wasn't seemed to be about me, it seemed to be about people who get lung cancer. That's what we're here for, that's the only reason that the foundation exists, not to give anyone any particular glorious status or anything like that, it's to make a difference in helping lung cancer patients and their families to deal with this devastating disease. It's our 25th anniversary but there are such new positive things coming out for lung cancer, you know, new treatments coming on the horizon, we've got national campaigning awards, you know, there's such new good news for a change that, you know, the tide is turning and we're coming after lung cancer.